Hi guys, this is Shivari Ding. Welcome to Git Tutorial. In this session, I am going to show you git init command, which is used to create a empty uh, git repository in your local. So in order to create a empty repository, you can go to the any direct uh, any drive and create a folder. Okay, I am creating this folder as git. So go inside it. And once you install the git, you will see when you right click, uh, go inside this folder, right click on it. And now you will see the option git bash here. So click on git bash here. Now you type git command git init, which is going to create a empty git repository. Once you uh, enter git space init, it enter. It is saying that initialized empty git repository in d slash git dot slash uh, dot git slash. But if you see this folder, you see it is an empty directory. But how it is, uh, how git is representing this is an git repository. So in order to see, uh, by default when you um, enter git init command, it is going to create a, some hidden files so that git can recognize this is a git local repository in order to show what exactly inside it now we need to see the uh, we need to change the properties so that you can see click on the my uh, go to the click on start button and uh, click on control panel now go to the folder options here go to view and here you see hidden files and folders by default it will be in the uh, don't show hidden files and folders and drives. Hence, what you need to select is select show hidden files, folders and the drives. Click apply and OK. Now, if you come to this folder, you will see there is a folder it has with the dot git. And if you go inside it, you will see there is some configuration by default. Git is created by using these uh, uh, this fold, uh, this uh, settings or the these files, Git can able to recognize that this is a Git local empty repository. Now, what are the files you are adding to this fold, uh, this uh, direct di directory or the folder? The Git will keep track of these changes. Okay, and uh, before we go ahead with the other commands, now we need to set the global config parameters which are used for all the operations whatever you are doing for this git operations in order to set the global parameters we use the command config so git config global you need to set username and i am giving as shivariti okay and similarly you can give git config global global user dot email you can give your email i'm just giving my random email something like this but you need to give the proper email what is the need of these pro these um, uh, global configuration values is whenever you do a commit or any operation git uses this information to identify okay this is the correct person is making the commit or whatever the operations are with this information, it will be saved while committing or the saving the files to the Git repository. Hence, these are very important. In order to see the list of global parameters, you can go ahead and see git config list. So by default, there are certain things automatically it will be taken care, but we need to provide this user.email and also you can see username also user dot name so these two actually we need to provide by this information git will uh, compute the uh, identify or the compute the some information while it is saving the files or the committing the files hope we are able to create a empty repository uh, we have so far we have seen two commands one is git init command and config command Later tutorials, we can see further command. Thanks for watching.
If you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Have a nice day.